Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Can I have your issue? Yes, ma'am. Are you Mr. Bhavani Prasad? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the giving opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Tanir Bhavani Prasad. I am from Mongol. Currently, I am living in Esther Nagar, Hyderabad. Uh, my, uh, I completed my graduation in BSA Agriculture in the year of 2022 with CGPA 7.9. And coming to my technical skills, I am good at Core Java manual testing and automation testing. Uh, coming to my projects, I done project on manual testing that is Swag Labs, e-commerce and uh, another project is uh, in automation testing that is SCRM, Scalar. Scalar is a uh, uh, manufacturing domain and uh, coming to my family background, uh, I am from agriculture background and my total uh, family members are six members including me, that's all about me. Okay, Prasad, based on your skills, I would like to ask some questions. Yes, ma'am. What is meant by HDLC? Explain the phases in HDLC. Yes, ma'am. HDLC is nothing but software development life cycle. Uh, uh, HDLC is nothing but uh, it is the step by step process uh, it is implementing to get a good quality software. The phases in uh, HDLC means requirement gathering, test analysis, uh, and uh, software testing, software design, and installation and the production. Okay, what is meant by Agile methodology? Uh, Agile, Agile methodology is nothing but uh, it is one of the model of uh, software testing and uh, in, uh, it is a value driven methodology, it is not a plan driven methodology. In Agile methodology, you can come in at, a, at any stage and you can add the new requirements new requirements in, in the project that is uh, about the Agile methodology. Okay, can you say the advantages of Agile methodology? The advantages of method, Agile methodology is uh, check po uh, checkpoints will be available in Agile methodology and uh, customer can come at any stage and add your new requirements without paying extra money to the uh, company that's all implementation of the automation in uh, in that 70% uh, manual and 30% automation okay what is severity uh, severity is nothing but how much impact will be uh, effect on the application in severity, there are uh, four stages, uh, critical, major, minor and uh, critical, uh, critical, major, minor, the steps in uh, severity, ma'am. Okay, explain priority. Uh, priority is nothing but uh, uh, which bug you have to find, you have to fix the first, uh, in that you have to use the priority. In priority, mainly four types, that is urgent priority, low, uh, low priority, high priority and medium priority. Okay. Explain about Agile meetings. Agile meetings, ma'am. Uh, first is the grooming section. Grooming section is nothing but uh, if a tester will not uh, know the uh, not know the correct explanation about the test cases in that time, uh, the team lead will be uh, conduct a meeting that is a grooming section. In that uh, section, he used to explain uh, the about the functionalities of the application. Next, uh, daily stand-up meeting. Daily stand-up is meeting nothing but it will be happens in daily. In that, uh, te uh, test lead will be raise the three questions. What will be work today and what will work be yesterday and what, what work is going on. The three questions will be raised in daily stand-up meeting, uh, sprint retrospective meeting and sprint, uh, sprint, uh, sprint review meeting. Okay. What is white box testing? Explain the types in white box testing. Uh, white box testing is nothing but uh, uh, white box, white, before going to tester, the developer will be conducted testing that is called white box testing. Man. In white box testing, there are two types, unit testing and uh, integration testing. Unit testing is nothing but uh, the process of checking the application, uh, each and unit of the application, each and every piece of the application. And integration is nothing but the data flow between the two application, uh, two modules is called the uh, integration testing. Okay, explain about black box testing. Uh, black box testing is nothing but uh, after completing the 100% white box testing, uh, it will be comes under the tester. In the time the tester will be done, the testing is called the black box testing. Uh, black box testing, yes ma'am. Difference between functional and non-functional? Uh, functional testing is nothing but uh, the validation of the functionalities of a uh, customer uh, client expectations is called the functional testing. Non-functional testing is nothing but it is uh, depends on customer demand. It's called the non-functional testing. The main okay, device. then what is smoke and sanitary testing? Uh, smoke testing is nothing but is a build stable verification testing. It is, uh, it is uh, sanitary testing is nothing but it is used to check the core and basic functionalities of the application. Uh, smoke testing is, 
it, it is a documented standard testing it is not documented it is comes under the static testing it is comes under the dynamic testing okay what is meant by regression testing uh, regression testing is nothing but uh, the process of checking the application while you adding the new requirements along with the old requirements the combination of the checking the old requirements along with the new requirements is called the regression testing okay what are the challenges do you face in regression testing the the main challenges uh, i faced in uh, regression testing it is a time consuming process and uh, it, it will be get full board to the manual test engineer in that time uh, in in the place of regression testing you can do the automation testing uh, in automation testing one tester will uh, do the all the test cases uh, at a time that is the main uh, challenges i face in regression testing okay what is meant by ad hoc testing ad hoc testing is nothing but due to the lack of time uh, in that time uh, the team lead will be check the main functionalities of the application that is called the ad hoc testing means how to check the main functionalities of the application okay due to the list what is meant by exploratory testing uh, explore exploratory testing is nothing but the when the employee will be new for the company in that time uh, they don't know the proper functionalities and the proper guidance in that time they they used to uh, they used to uh, take the confirmation from the old employee thoughts and old employee documents is called the exploratory test okay what is compatibility testing uh, compatibility testing is nothing but the combination of the software and hardware configuration is called the compatibility testing okay what is meant by performance testing uh, performance testing is nothing but the how much uh, uh, application will be performance on the uh, uh, customer uh, use usification in that uh, load stress uh, and the volume will be the main sub types of performance testing when a person when a lot of persons used at a time in that time the application will be in a uh, load condition and the application will be goes under the stress condition okay what is meant by rtm rtm is nothing but requirement traceability matrix in the rtm you can find the how much work is how much bugs you can find and how much work is going on you can find in rtm document explain test closer test closer is nothing but ma'am all the test uh, test cases all the test test cases executed successfully in the time test test lead will be uh, conduct the main uh, conduct the testing on main functionalities in that time uh, they will found any bug or defect in that time uh, bug that is called the golden defect it is assigned to the developer uh, after completing the full uh, testing uh, the sign uh, sign off will be happens in that time Okay okay Prasad will get back to you Okay ma'am thank you